Hello again. I hope that you've had a chance to try out some of the uh, Kage no Kamai uh, techniques, ways of receiving that I shared last time. And you probably have realized that it's a little slow in the receiving. And you must wonder, why would this be that important? The Kage no Kamai and its various names is located in uh, other uh, weapon arts in the Bujinkan, such as uh, uh, Hanbo and Ninjato. And they have these techniques that go on behind the back. So obviously they're quite important in the Bujinkan. So when we do Kage out of Bofurigata, it becomes important to understand that the reason for doing this may be going around an object such as a tree or a rock or a wall even, so that you can then strike in from the other side of that object. Another reason why you might do kage no kamai is because you have a, a partner with you. So when I do Bofurigata with a partner here, as I move, perhaps I'm going behind him to strike in on this side so that it's there to confuse the opponent as to who he's really attacking. Another way to speed up the transition is how you you move your receiving hand. So as you're traveling here, this hand comes in along the top. When I come in on this side, that same hand goes in underneath. And without allowing the bow to go behind, I slip it straight behind my back. This speeds up that transition from having to do it all here. Okay, let's do it from the side. So as the bow spins, I receive in this reverse position, step back with the left leg, there it is. When we think about doing Bofurigata in this in a shiohawaza manner, what we're really looking at is the potential of dealing with multiple attackers from multiple directions. And there's a way to naturally slip into the Kage no Kamai from uh, shiohawaza. So from shiohawaza is you step in it naturally flows to the back as you go around in the square. It's there to there. So you don't have to think a lot about it once you get into this four directional uh, approach to movement. So if we start going forward, as we shift here and shift again, it naturally fits into the flow of what you're doing. We would like to look at Shiowaza with this idea of multiple attackers and to be able to bring together all of our strikes, all of our blocks, all of our ski into dealing with multiple attackers freely. So this is a little challenging, but we've been through everything that I could think of with Roku Shakubo and Bo Furigata here, to here, to here, to ski. And we're trying to get to where we can respond naturally and move here as we go. 
using the Bofur data to connect all of the pieces here, all of the directions. It all becomes one with our movement. Until next time, take care.